Um, so, Better Call Saul. Yeah. What do you think his end game is? Because I think he was trying to drive um, Kim away. Right, so we're talking spoilers of Better Call Saul, though. We are indeed. During the run of season five, currently on AMC slash Netflix. Yes. For the TV show that uh, is the prequel to Breaking Bad. Um, because, yeah, I don't think he was expecting her to um, to propose. I think his whole goal was to piss her off enough to leave him, and then um, he couldn't accept that job from, I can't remember his name, uh, or if he tried to accept the job, they wouldn't let him accept it anymore because of how, she tre- how he treated Kim. I think it's all a big facade, and then we're going to see how Bill Burr fits into this whole thing and the Mad Lion at the same time. <laughs> you thought Breaking Bad was a reality show. It's secretly a sci-fi show set in a hollow deck. <laughs> oh, finally! <laughs> and Zoe yeah, Saldana is going to pop up, just like Pirates of the Caribbean one, but not two or three. <laughs> that was weird. I didn't realize she was in that first one. Uh, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, I just rewatched it. <laughs> like, oh yeah, she's in all the billion dollar franchises and also the yeah. losers. Yeah, pretty much. No one saw the losers except for me, and I loved it. I can't remember the losers. Uh, Chris Evans, mate. Yeah, Chris Evans. Yeah, Jeffrey Dean Morgan. Oh, no. I, I just only saw that up. on initial release. I haven't watched it since. Holds up. It's fun. It's a fun film. What's was? Is it on anything? Uh, I think it's on Prime. Okay. I'm just actually time. looking through Prime at the moment. Um, I saw the um, uh, the Tarantino documentaries on there. Well, the uh, the Ocho. Yeah. <laughs> I might give that a, a watch. I'm thinking I might um, try and get back into Killing Eve because I only watched like three episodes of that. Okay, right. What you have to know about Killing Eve is I think that Eve and Jimmy are going to get married at one point. It might be Jimmy's <laughs> way of deflecting Eve to stop being killed. <laughs> maybe, maybe. You can't trust all his motives, you know. No. Right. The problem I have about Killing Eve is that I wanted to focus on any, any other character, but it's all about Eve. <laughs> oh, I've missed you. <laughs> <laughs> How is the self-isolating treating you anyway? Well, I've been offered, because uh, we're meant to go to karaoke tomorrow. A couple right. of friends said, hey, do you want to do online karaoke? Okay. I'm stuck here in this house with thin walls with parents nearby. <laughs> yeah, that's not a thing. <laughs> yeah, I haven't, um, no one's invited me onto um, a, what's that big app that everyone seems to be using? Zoom? Yeah. Mm. Charlotte's been using that uh, a lot. I think she's using it at the moment. So if this is if this does work well, um, it means we're definitely okay, even when like, you're being the hampered Wi-Fi's... by multiple uses of the internet. Yes. Oh, technology. Yep. I was watching an episode of The Simpsons where uh, Homer has a couple of uh, friends from college expelled, and they stay over, and they're nerds. And Marge picks up the phone and it just says, <laughs> and she can't use the phone. It's, oh, that old modem technology, the old dial-up. Remember that? Oh, uh, uh, you can have an hour of the internet a day because of business hours and making sure that it's fine for when people need to call if there's an emergency at night. Now I'm on it 24-7 because there's nothing else to do. Oh, it's such a strange time. They're, um, all they're expecting. Ah, <laughs> oh, yep. High School Musical has to happen. Don't know what that is. Um, <laughs> uh, they're expecting the hotel to be open from the 21st of April, apparently, because I just went to... I tried to book a room just to see. Um, <laughs> just to keep your job open. Yeah. Just, yeah. <laughs> Paying my wages here. Um, no, uh, Reach downtown, l- walking Because <laughs> they hadn't announced anything yet. Uh, mm. And I was up one night on my... I think Monday night on my night off. Oops. And so I was just like, let me just try and book a room just to see. And it had all been, it was just X's all across the month until 21st. Well, I can't now imagine all your X's it coming back. They live in Texas, don't they? Well, they're walking uh, in Memphis. Just makes, that just makes me want to play um, Grand Theft Auto now. <laughs> Which one? Uh, was it San Andreas with the country radio? I think it was San Andreas. 
of country radio in GTQ5. Yeah, I to I, Rebel Radio, listen to some Johnny Cash. Thank you very much. Yeah, but the, the Rebel Radio in GTA 5 was nowhere near as good. I mean, it had Johnny Cash, but it only had that one Johnny Cash song. Um, you got Convoy on there, didn't you? Yeah. Um, and it's not like a... I don't know. I've seen the movie based on Convoy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A friend gave it to me on the Blu-ray. I sat through it. It's like, this is not good. <laughs> I got um, Spotify uh, the Pretty other day. Much. Yeah. And... Um, and I've created the Just first know, thing if you I listen did. to this, we're not on Spotify Premium yet or anything <laughs> Spotify because one person's meant to upload it and he never did get around to it. I know. I've only just got uh I've only just like got back onto it because um I cancelled um Amazon Music. So yeah, that is screw my them. Plan. Yeah. They well they, they didn't have all of Johnny Cash's albums and they didn't have one of my favourites. So they, they got on the um, Charles album that he made. I think they I've did. Heard the entire was... podcast about. <laughs> <laughs> um but I think um, the one I was looking for was a uh, ragged old flag, um, which I've got on vinyl, of course. Um, uh, the, the album cover of that is Johnny Cash hugging the flag, isn't it? <laughs> yes. So it's, a, it's a great flag. It's tremendous. It's beautiful. I'm telling you, probably, probably, we'll be probably the best flag. Easter. Yeah, because of course Easter is when uh, he gets to tell the story of the Gospel Road. Yes, exactly. Um, but no, the first thing I did on. Um, <laughs> The first thing I did on uh, Spotify Premium was uh, make a playlist of his entire discography from beginning to end, in order. And then I made a separate playlist of just his American Recordings albums. Now, you've had three hours of free time and that's it. So uh, you've already gone insane. <laughs> you always started off. I was, I was insane secret. from the beginning. <laughs> Are we actually releasing this as an episode, or hey, is this well, just... We'll see what we do, you know? Okay. We just, we're testing out uh, remote sound, because what we do on the show is I like to have us together for the energy of it. I think yeah. anything that's wise is better in a space where you can lock eyes with each other and stare deeply, intimately into each other's soul. <laughs> Instead, I'm looking at a screen which says J-E, which are the initials of my friend, and I'm locking into the soul of the J and the E. <laughs> see, I, I would... I'd attempt to turn on the camera, but I think that's pushing it. <laughs> yeah, no, we don't need to have video for this. The only video we need is movies. Yeah. Which means the we're going to have a change to everything we've scheduled. Things are moving around. Things won't exist because they don't exist on streaming. And that's the only way we can really do it. So that's fun. Well, so it's the office minute, isn't it? What would be that? great, what, of course, of course, would be the fact that uh, we're going to do Raw later in the year. And now oh, yeah. Tiger King has become a thing on Netflix, and it seems like the perfect time to do an episode about a crazy person who looks after a lot of big animals. Have you watched Tiger King? No, oh, because I've... I've seen Raw, and Raw <laughs> is all I need. If you want to see a film about a guy who loves big animals. They're not the same story, are they? No, they're not they're the not, same story. No. One of them involves Tippi Hedren from The Birds. Right. Um, yeah, I've been... All I've seen is people talking about Raw, and I'm... Yeah. Uh, not Raw, the... Yeah, the... no, people are talking about Raw. <laughs> like Spanish language uh, zombie cannibal movies. <laughs> oh man! And bring your own bath really... bag. Remember that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, everyone's like, "Oh, Tiger King! It gets crazier and crazier." But uh, hey, you know what? Netflix documentaries—you don't need to be more than an hour and twenty minutes, one episode. Yeah, I haven't even looked into how long it is. Yeah, um... they're like forty-eight minutes. I think there's seven episodes. I just remember making a murder and watching the first episode, thinking, "Okay, that's that case." Uh, the next episode's going to be a different case, and discovering it's all one case, and thinking, "Fuck you!" If you mm. can't tell an interesting story that first hour, why would I sit through more? Same with Wild Wild Country. Yeah. How so and twenty. I, I did, I did the first season, and I liked it. But then when season two came out, it's like I don't really need to watch this because it became such a big thing that any new stuff is going to be announced. Which was inherently the problem it in when it came to. to um, Paradise Lost 3. The first two Paradise Losts were the uh, two directors getting pretty exclusive and detailed access on this case. And by the third one, it becomes such a big thing that Peter Jackson had got involved and talked to one of the uh, suspected suspects and got them to be part of the a movie so he contractually couldn't be in the third of the trilogy and did uh, West oh, Memphis right. instead and it became a whole shit show of that third one should be really good and detailed. But Peter Jackson came and said, I want to make my movie about this instead and then for some reason didn't release it in 3D colourised so fuck him 
I'm just on Netflix and um, on like the main Netflix originals big banner. Uh, it's got Better Call Saul followed by The Get Down and then Tiger oh, King. Wow, remember it's Get like, Down? Why are they trying to remind us about The Get Down? Because you know they remember when it was uh, an hour and a half per episode, and they, everyone said that was too long. And now they've got nothing else to do. Everyone's going to yeah. finally get down on the get down. <laughs> Thinking, right, Baz Luhrmann, he's a crazy son of a bitch, but we're going to finally give him a chance. Now we've got nothing else we can ever do again. Um, I think they'll go back to the Great Gatsby about... and go, you know what, the Great Gatsby's great. Gatsby. <laughs> it is. Sorry. Yeah. Have I heard um, anything? Have, you, oh. have you heard anything about the uh, Impractical Jokers movie yet? Because I can't seem to find any confirmation about UK. Well, I've heard that people enjoyed it. They said the plot stuff was unnecessary and useless, but that they enjoyed the jokes of the film and had fun with it, and it's good-natured. So that's all I've heard. I don't know anything about yeah. anything. Yeah, because they announced it yesterday with the April 1st thing, but mm-hmm. I don't, they didn't don't know if trust they said everywhere. Comes April so yeah. I don't know if they mean everywhere, like all streaming platforms in the States or all streaming platforms everywhere in the world. (laughs) Hey, you're watching Disney Plus. We've got Onward now (laughs) and Impractical Jokers, the movie. (laughs) You know, for kids. Imagine if on April 1st, all of Disney Disney Plus is just taken down and it's just um, everything you select is um, Impractical Jokers. (laughs) Sir Anna. (laughs) <laughs> um, but yeah, fingers crossed we can do that as an episode. Because all cute. <laughs> I'm working here. Um... I'm working hard. <laughs> <laughs> work hard. Yeah, I will song in that. <laughs> work hard. <laughs> George. I saw someone. For some reason, was just doing a you know a, a tweet about Jim Morrison had the picture of Jim Morrison up there with the thing, and I just stared at it and I couldn't stop laughing because now I whenever I see that picture, it is just Dewey Cox doing that same pose. Yeah, yeah. Everything that Dewey it, Cox has just... touched has just become <laughs> impossible to not giggle tremendously at. Except Johnny Cash, we never giggle at Johnny Cash. Johnny Cash giggled at himself. Thank you very much. <laughs> we can all giggle you know... at him. He was respected and respected the joke. You know he uh, he had a song called Chicken in Black. How did it go? I haven't. I, I had don't a one, know. Two, <laughs> one, two, three, four. Uh, I hear the rooster coming. Hey, have you got a guitar? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like we're in the office. Yeah, the guitar. Um, oh, I hear the chicken clucking, clucking round the clock. I hear the chicken clucking, and I wanna break its bark. I hear it clucking. <laughs> I'm going to clock it, clock. I love how we went around the chicken. Jackson. So I'm <laughs> going to no. go and fuck. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's uh, the one thing. Cause it's, uh, Jackson's the easiest one to do. Cause it's no, it's awesome. Well. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, what a strange world we live in. How do you think uh, this is going to affect... Going to yeah. Well, I've, I've, I've got a copy of The Road behind me in my Blu-ray collection, <laughs> so uh, I, I think that. Thanks Get ready to enjoy some, is it Coca-Cola vending machines they get to at one point? Cody Smith-McCree gets a drink, so that'll Pepsi. Okay. Yeah. I, um, uh, I recorded the... Contagion. Cool. Uh, Pacifica. <laughs> oh, so, yeah. I'm, I'm going to give that another watch, because I only ever saw that the once in the cinema. And yeah, I just remember it being... It's sliced open. Mm-hmm. The scalp pulls back, can you see a bit of brain? 12A, 12A. <laughs> oh, it's very goopy. See, I don't remember it being that great. I remember it being really slow moving. It's cold. Um, it's desolate. Yeah. It's beautiful. And, and I remember people coughing in the cinema. And I was yeah, like, I, I, I decidedly sat in the back of the uh, cinema when I went to see it because I had a little bit of cold. And I sneezed yeah. off all the way through just to kind of, uh, amplify myself just to make sure. It's like I'm a it's dick. Like your version. It's like your version of them, that Muppet that sits in the 3D screening and throws the fish. I can't remember his name. New Zealand, because he likes fish. He yeah, I think so. Um, <laughs> you remember when he threw that fish around the O2? 
That's all I remember of him. Um, he, <laughs> I think it was in the original Muppet movie. He, he threw the like boomerang fish, and they come back to him. Of course, you can check that out now on Disney Plus. Yes, but not all the Muppets movies, which is quite annoying. Which ones aren't there at the moment? Um, I'm going to load up Disney Plus on my uh, Apple TV. Muppets from Space, I believe. Oh, what a shame! <laughs> Don't get Muppets from Space. Um, Muppet Treasure Island's on there. Uh. Oh, uh, what's the what's the best Muppet film? That's not Christmas Carol. Um, the Muppets. No, uh, Amy Adams. The Great Muppet. No, Muppet Take Manhattan. No, no, Great Muppet Caper. Yeah. Take Manhattan. That's not on there. Never felt for that one. Really? Oh, yeah. That's one of the best ones I find. Uh, I've got a whole um, blog which uh, before the the uh, Jason Segel Muppets came out which I did a list of them, which also involves uh, a picture of Beaker in his scarf and hat from Christmas Carol, an extra picture of uh, Michael Fassbender, Hugh Tripe of Michael Fassbender from Shame, <laughs> and I just amplified his red hair and the red scarf to say, hey, look, actually, he's playing Beaker in this movie. <laughs> it's Beaker Meeps. <laughs> Beaver has a meep addiction. <laughs> Never thought about it like that. Think about it. His face... The way his head is, is very much like Biku in terms of it just kind of goes straight up from the neck and it's one long shot. <laughs> it's a beautiful shot, Not going, don't get me wrong. But Every shot of long... uh, Michael Fassbender is beautiful. Oh, I'm trying <laughs> to think of them and then I'm going to lost in shots of Michael Fassbender. And yeah, you're right. <laughs> Boy, beautiful. Yep. He, <laughs> as Steve Carell might say, is a beautiful boy. <laughs> Yeah, I did see Beautiful. There was, there was another drug addiction one that I didn't see. Ben! He came back? No, no, I saw that one. You saw Ben is back with Peter Hedges? Yeah. Oh, I still, I've got it on Amazon Prime. I've got it on my watch list. Because you know what? I like some of Peter Hedges' work. Peace of April's great. Dan in Real Life's yeah. great. Didn't much care for the old life of Timothy Green. I did that, quite enjoy too it. Too odd for me. Ben is back. Too odd. <laughs> they didn't warn you. They didn't, yeah, I mean, they did. But I didn't realise it was actually be about a uh, boy who was grown as a plant. <laughs> remember he was Plant Boy? That yeah, was that film. I, I, I just remember the poster. <laughs> is that on Disney Plus? Is that actually is on it? Disney Plus at this point? Because it was a Disney film, I believe. Jennifer Garner is, is basically Juno too. Jennifer Garner <laughs> wants a child and it becomes Plant Boy. I really haven't um, utilised Disney Plus to its full extent yet. I've watched three like parts of the Caribbeans in 4K. <laughs> Your Life of the Green is on Disney Plus. Don't worry, we can watch that. Um, I feel like, the uh... no, Horrible No Good Very Bad Day is on there as well. So if you missed out on, what's it, Like a Boss, you can watch another Maguire Arteta film on Disney Plus. I feel like I need to watch The uh, Lady and the Tramp. I've got that on my to-watch list. For one reason and one reason only. The Which, Tramp. Um, it's Sam Neill. I'm a dog. <laughs> really? Yeah, Sam Neill. Oh my god. No, sorry. Sam Neill has a voice. Sam Neill. Sam Neill's <laughs> not voice in that. Um, yeah. X-Men but as well. I, I just that. wanted to look at you one last time. <laughs> I, have, I did put on um, Mary Poppins Returns the other night just oh. because I needed some comfort in my life. Wait, can I ask you a question? Mary Go Poppins. On. Can she speak Leary? <laughs> Of course she can speak Leary. She's Mary Poppins. Ah! Got lost in the fog? I was going to say, say you're lost in the park. Hmm. Uh, lost in the park? What do you want me to say? <laughs> Let's say you're lost in the park and you give in to the dark and have a bit of a lark. I can't remember all the words. Trip. So the main thing, the main lesson of uh, Mary Poppins for Towns is the cover is not the book. So, so open it up. Take, take a look. Ooh, the rocket here. The other. Oh, well, you discover. Beyond the cover is the king. It's not the crook. Maybe a crook. Maybe a crook. But the option is not the crook. Oh, my. Bed and of Moob and Boomsticks. I've not even seen that. You've Old seen Yeller. That? I didn't know Old Yellow was a Disney movie. Yeah, Disney loves to shoot animals. And I I they made Dumbo into CGI in the end because uh, they kept uh, <laughs> shooting shots of the elephant and it just felt like they had to shoot the elephant by the end of it. Tim Burton and loves need... killing animals. Tim Burton and Steven Spielberg were animal killers. 
I need I'll to finish. That. Um, <laughs> they're not. Legally, they're need... not, but also maybe they are. We don't know. I need to finish uh, my triple bill of uh, Friday, uh, Freaky Fridays. Because yeah, well, there's, the two, there's the two main ones. The one yeah. with um, Jodie Foster, and then there's the one with Jodie Foster. Um, and then there's a new <laughs> one, which I don't think has anyone from the old... Dr. Lecter, it's me. <laughs> the census taker. Remember me? <laughs> I'm back. And now I'm an FBI agent. Okay, sit <laughs> down, Dr. Lecter. Um, and I think uh, the, the new one is, well, it was like 2015 or 2017, maybe. Um, yeah, just think, channel original. I think so, yeah. The way it <laughs> what looks, else was it going to be? Like, it just looks exactly like a Disney Channel original. And I'm oh, going to watch... Does it all look uh, the same to you, you Disney Channel <laughs> racist? Don't act like it's not true. Um, well, there was... I saw one that was like a zombie thing. Wasn't really? there a... Yeah. The Walking Dead. Disney's The Walking Dead. I'm going to type in zombie. There was... Disney zombies. <laughs> 2018. Okay. <laughs> now that the government has created a device that stops zombies from craving brains, Seabrook High, a school focused on uniformity traditions oh and God. pep rallies, faces student integration with the zombie town kids. The zombie town kids. As the human oh. and zombie students struggle to coexist, a budding friendship between cheerleader Addison and zombie Z, A to Z, could <laughs> unite their high school and community for good. It's a the coming of age science hair. fiction <laughs> musical. Mm. I love even the should. zombies they try to make look hot. Yeah, well, I mean, it's Disney is one step towards the CW at this point. <laughs> yeah, that's rated nine plus, and yet uh, Dead Man's Chest, in which uh, opening sequence sees a uh, man's eyeball ripped out by a bird, is rated six plus. <laughs> so cool, good system, Disney. I'm gonna finally watch Camp Rock. Once I've done uh, the High School Musicals again, because Camp Rock was like the, you know, <laughs> we need another hit like was High School that, Musical. Uh, is that the Jonas Boys? I believe so. Ah, cool. And right. the well, Descendants films, I'm going to watch those. I didn't realise right, they had the music the in them. <laughs> Shailene, Clunes, Hubel, Bo Bridges. I remember, I remember going to see that. I think I saw it a couple of times. And the second time I went with my mum and my cousin, and there was someone in the back of the cinema, like a couple of people, like laughing their heads off at the most inappropriate times. Yeah, like, that was uh, Jim Rash and Max, and they were laughing at it, going, I can't believe we made it and we got an Oscar for this. Let's make two <laughs> movies that are unnecessarily long, despite the fact they're only like 90 minutes maximum. And every downhill, time I everybody. See, um, downhill. Every time I see Stargirl on the top banner, I think it's a Miley Cyrus movie. Stargirl. Because. Yeah, all the uh, all the uh, Disney actresses look the same. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I can say that looks a bit Miley. Yeah. Yeah. What about the world according to Jeff Goldblum? Well, Jeff or Goldblum he... will cancel soon. So I was I was wondering that is he cancelled yet or is it? People still didn't really pick air? up on the whole. Uh, actually, he's kind of groped a lot of people thing. Mm. They was like, "Where's Jeff Goldblum? He touches people. He's a toucher." Cool. High School Musical, Unreal for them. Musical the series episode now episode two now. Jeez, I didn't know they were doing the weekly thing with that as well. Yeah, that that the Imagineering story, which is a stupid thing to do with a weekly thing, and the Mandalorian, and yet Encore, all episodes there, so we can all sit down and watch Encore, which I watched the first episode of, and I'll watch more. So, yeah, so I don't nice. understand the choice of that. Whereas you get all thirty episodes, seasons of The Simpsons. Mm. And by the end of the next this year, I'm sure we'll get season 31, which includes the third appearance of Werner Herzog in the show. Now, is season 31, is that the season that's going to have the um, Avengers thing? I yes. First that's the big Avengers. That, yep, they did that. It was... Oh, decent. they've already done it? Yeah, it's already aired. Ah, right. It was decent. It was okay. okay. The recent episode where Marge becomes a uh, a assistant at a store, a marijuana dispensary, was quite good. Oh my. It involves Homer opening up his own uh, legal back backdoor drug dealing. Stuff. <laughs> it's a legal dispensary which is made to look like it's an old school kind of you know weed dealer's place. It's a I'm fun looking, run. I'm looking forward to um, seeing the gradual increase of technology. Um, like it's going to be weird because you're going like, through the Simpsons. Yeah, I'm going from I'm on season three at the moment, 
Wow. Uh, I haven't even had the uh, episode with uh, Homer on the computer trying to find the ending key. That's I, a, I, yeah, that's a while. That's probably season six. I want to say King Size. Oh, really? Maybe season seven. For me, that feels like the first sort of thing of um, technology. No, I, I just. Um, that's season five. There's a, yeah, the, the internet reference stuff. All right. Like and um, the Palm Pilot. Mm-hmm. I remember that being a thing. But I'm, I'm looking forward to the latest seasons Marvel. with like smartphones and stuff. It's going to be weird seeing Homer with a, with a, an iPhone or. Yeah, um, was it uh, Double Verizon? I believe it was maybe season 21, season 22. There's a sequence because Bart gets a cell phone and then he, a bit of brain comes out of his ear at one point. It's the grossest <laughs> thing the show has ever done. <laughs> remember that thinking, what the fuck? Why? Who? Why, <laughs> Algae? Why? A lot of my ruminations in the last 20 years of The Simpsons. So why, Algene? Why? Because <laughs> almost every time it's a good episode, you'll see that it's a Matt Selman show running episode. You'd have thought they um, would have sorted the, um, the. The quality out by now. <laughs> yeah, the cropping. Uh, oh, right. Oh, yeah, yeah um, getting back to the original aspect ratios. I yeah. For some reason, they're still taking a while. They said by quarter to two, I believe. And, you know, it's now 521, so it's. We've got 12, 20, 24 minutes until quarter two. Um, <clears throat> this, these are the well, jokes you come here for. These are not the jokes you stay here for. Um, but, um, yeah, I thought they were going to have it sorted in time for the European release. That would have made... It wasn't the European sense. release, it was the United Kingdom's release and Ireland's release. Norway had it. In day no, one. Way. Yeah. no way. No <laughs> way. This is what you come for. <laughs> hey. I don't have a uh, rim shot available, so it's just. Uh... Do you know why they called it? Um... Do you know why they called it cliffhanger? Why? I'll tell you next week. Um... <laughs> What's the other joke? Um... Oh, I put the guitar back now. Fuck your jokes. Oh, yeah, about, you know, diarrhea uh, is hereditary. <laughs> it runs in their genes. Oh, I still listen to that album on a <sighs> constant loop. And that song is my favourite song. Um, what song was that one, for those who need context? Bad jokes, Lord, I love them. Bad jokes, can't get, can't get enough, enough of them. Ooh, 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 bad jokes for me. Um, Very home companion. And there's a moment in that where um, I was going to call him Willie Nelson. It's not Willie Nelson. Woody Harrelson. Woody Harrelson. The, um, the Willie Nelson of acting. <laughs> yes, pretty much. I mean, um, friends. Yeah, and that's what I was lost I, in London with him. Exactly. That's what I just, I connected it to. Um, but there's a moment in the song mm-hmm. where he does the joke about the um, the bull that breeds 200 times a year and how and the, when he starts saying how the wife is going 200 times isn't that wonderful dear maybe you ought to watch him maybe he, he'll show you how and you can just hear the smile in his face and it's like oh he's having a good time like a good old boy <laughs> never mean no harm now that's Willie Nelson territory <laughs> Or has a county. Yeah. I got very close to watching um, uh, a film that we watched for the podcast recently. But you usually don't do that. You like to never watch a film again. That's your thing. <laughs> um, well, with with podcast films, I don't tend to go back over them. Oh, them I choose bad films. films. Okay, I get it. No, no, because it, I just I know I'd had, I'd never have a better experience than when I'm sat watching it with you. Oh, yeah, exactly. Oh. Um, that's a lie, but... but you made my day. <laughs> Sorry, that's a big fucking lie. <laughs> what a picture! What a big, what a picture! Um, oh, I'm I was, killing. I spotted uh, out the corner of my eye on the DVD shelf um, from because we watched it during Co in November. I oh, can't yeah. remember what it was called. Miller's. No. Um, Serious. The George Clooney one. Intolerable cruelty. No. Yeah. Oh brother, where are they? Oh brother, yeah. And I, I got very close to watching it, um, mm. which I found strange because before we did the podcast, I always thought 
Yeah, I watched it once. I don't think I need to. And then you now you're feeling like, me to it. Yeah, and you're you're like, oh, now I feel it. Yeah. Now I feel how it can you make be. Make me feel things. Like dancing. <laughs> um. Also, What's I'm okay, very fine. close to watching. Um. <laughs> I'm very close to watching. Uh. Bedazzled again because I haven't seen that in years. OG and or I remake? If that holds up. Uh. Remake. Okay. Sand- okay. Not Sandra Bullock. What's her name? Elizabeth, Elizabeth Hurley. Hurley. The old Mrs. Hugh Grant. Oh, and George of the Jungle. Is that on Disney Plus? That is on Disney Plus. Plus George of the Jungle too, if you're wanting to watch lesser works. That that never came out in cinemas, did it? No, that was uh, one of those classic straight-to-video, we've got nothing else to do films. Isn't that strange? Because (laughs) I remember George of the Jungle being quite a big hit. Yeah, but kind of so was Inspector Gadget, wasn't it? And they still managed to do French Stewart Inspector Gadget too. French Stewart. Oh, it's not even um, thingy still in the fir- in the second one. Nope. He's playing George in the second one. Some Doesn't guy. Name? Some guy. <laughs> is that, it's not... is that what his name comes up as on the credits? Dude bloke. <laughs> he might be uh, Brendan Fraser's stunt double for three scenes. But Maybe. also Brendan Fraser was his own stunt double, which is why he had back problems. No, oh, But Brendan also Fraser. he plays his own stunt double in uh, Looney Tunes Back in Action, if you remember. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is the joke. Oh, that film's so good. I miss Brendan Fraser and Joe Dante. They should work together again. They should do another Looney Tunes. Mm. Looney Tunes out of action. <laughs> it has been too long since we've had a Looney Tunes movie. Well, don't I? Space Jam Two is still maybe happening. Who knows? I mean, didn't they get been... Malcolm um, what's down? Malcolm D. Lee on board for that in the end. Who's Malcolm D. Lee? He's the guy who did um, now. Hold your horses, Scary Movie Five, and Girls Trip, so Ooh. he can do the best of it and the worst of it, <laughs> no, and Best Man's Holiday and Best Man. Scary Actually. Movie Five. I'm, I feel Space like Jam Two post production. It's in post production. Go Space Ooh. Jam Two. Post production. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, they okay. shot it. Now they just got to spend uh, expected next year, July okay. next year. <laughs> um, Don Cheadle, LeBron James. Right. Mm. Wow. That's going to be interesting. Well, I'd watch um, it. What was I going to say? What were uh, you? I lost my train of thought. What were we talking about? We well, uh, were talking about uh, George of the Jungle. Uh, Looney yeah. Tunes. A long time. No, it's gone. It's gone. I can't remember now. Well, you know, it's going to be a long, long time. That's on Sky, and I want to watch it on Sky just to see if it's any different on live TV. <laughs> Well, it'll be, uh, I, I assume, because it's on Sky, that it will be a frame shorter every second. Maybe. I believe they do 25 for their broadcasts, because it's television. Yeah. So if you watch it through there, and I think if you watch it on the system, it's the same. It's still short. Oh, the parent trap. Uh, yeah. There's so much on Disney+. Plus. Um, Justin Lin is a credited writer for Space Jam 2. Oh. Mm. Yeah, right. so maybe uh, maybe it's all about family. <laughs> maybe, the team, maybe uh, you know, all the uh, Looney Tunes team up with... Uh, um, what do you call them? Oh, I had it for a second. What are they called? More a mountain, guys. What, the team? You, well, what the, the race of aliens called from the film. Oh, I don't know. I remember when the team was called the Monstars, right? Yeah, but... Ah, I don't. I haven't seen um the Nerdlocks. Oh, right, you. Mini. <laughs> mm. Um, maybe they'll team up with them to take know, down. Um... And Danny DeVito is going to help them out because now bad guys become good guys eventually, don't they? Oh yeah, Danny DeVito. <laughs> yeah. God, Bill Murray will be back. And Wayne Knight. Got to have Wayne Knight if it's a movie that's any good. Got to have Wayne Knight. Yeah, that's the rule in Hollywood. That's the um, rule in my life. Know, um... I love you know, there's a, a new series started on Disney Plus as of yesterday, uh, Friday. Wait, I got hit by a bus, so I'm the only <laughs> one who doesn't remember. May 7th of May? Yeah. May? Yeah. Um, March. Uh, Wrong we end have month. been isolated for three months. <laughs> oh no, it's May 2021. <laughs> um, oh, that's yeah, become... A... I mean, I am 31. Oh god. <laughs> 
there's a uh, a series called Be Our Chef, which started hosted by. Mm. You want to guess? Ewan McGregor. Nope. I'll give oh. you a clue. Uh, but, she but hosts. He could, he could a... do his French accent like he did in the movie, but I do not know a French accent, but Be Our Chef. <laughs> she um she hosts a a YouTube channel with her husband. Angela Lansbury. Uh, which is a... Um, Angela Lansbury. Oh, you're halfway Hunts- there. You're, you're halfway there, actually. Angela with her Jolie. And it's a, uh, a baking show. And her husband, show. Brad Pitt. Angela Kinsey. <laughs> cool. Let down. That's what Baz Luhrmann's new show is called. Hold on a sec. Yep, I'm podcasting. Well, we're trying... We're, we're testing sounds. Let's order a pizza whilst we talk. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna order it in a bit. Yeah. In time for Ant and Deck, don't worry. Sorry about that. That was a special cameo by Charlotte. Bingo. <laughs> right, what are you gonna order for pizza? Let's let's do the pizza game. Uh oh it's you pizza want hut. It's it's a bacon nice and chicken. How did you know? And your sister wants pineapple and <sighs> Mozambique dirt. Do you think I would still call her my sister if she wanted pineapple on her pizza? Yes, because you get presents. True. Um, <laughs> um, come on. Have you ever had pineapple on pizza? It's just I don't have Ugh. much things on pizza. I, I barely get through pepperoni. True. Yeah. I'm um, a cheese boy. Is your um, pizza hut still closed? Pizza hut. Yeah, well, it's gone. My yeah. pizza hut nearby is completely gone. And the Domino's nearby is closed for the time being as well. So oh. there, and the Papa John's, you know, is just terrible. And Pizza Express is shutting, has shut. And all the local food, there's like three restaurants in the nearby couple of towns that are left open. And the lines outside the stores, we went to shopping at the local store, this shop this morning at eight o'clock and stood around for half an hour before we were allowed into the shop wow. to get a couple of items that weren't much left. It was, it's uh, not good. Not good, guys. Not a good time. We've got beer, though. We've got beer and we've got wine. Well, that's all you really need. And mother made a cake yesterday. She was like, oh, you know what, I'm bored. Let's make a cake. So we've got cake and beer and wine. Nothing else. <laughs> You're good for the next This few might months. be the last episode I'll ever make. Because <laughs> I died of, you know, fat person starvation. Um. So <clears throat> do you not know how the sound is going to be until you start editing yeah this is entirely speculative right now all right we are praying to god this is not bad and your voice by the way is coming through nicely for me oh it is good good because i was worried about that because um i've been calling uh my dad pretty much every day and it's (laughs) well always um (laughs) that's how i that's how i greet him all right (laughs) not that effort Um, oh sorry (laughs) i would say fucker all right, is, Patty. Uh, I can use that term. You can't use that. It's not your turn to use. Um, but uh, yeah, no. When I've been calling him, uh, the signal's been really bad. But I, I'm pretty sure it's been his. It's his side, end. not my side. Yeah. It's your father's side is terrible. Yeah. Yeah. Your side, nice and strong and robust. Good genes. Good. Well, um, I might have to uh, set off and get some food in because it's a night to celebrate because I'm finally away from work and don't have to leave the house and don't have to brave the underground anymore. Which means hopefully we can get some episodes in so uh, people will not be lost for episodes. Yes, hopefully. Um, Which means um... that uh, theoretically the next episode, if this works, the first episode back will not be what we said it was last time. It will be... The one that you think that uh, for you, Johnny, who can see the spreadsheet of information will be the week afters because that's on Netflix. Okay. Uh, for everyone else, I've peppered through some uh, references to it throughout this entire podcast. See if you can guess them and wrangle them. Um, last week we watched Margaret. All oh, right, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I remember now. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Um, yeah. Well, fingers crossed. Um. What do we do for uh, musical month now? We sing. Yeah. I don't know, but uh, hey, we're not going to be able to celebrate in the heights. I know, such a shame. 
lights down. Oh. <laughs> See, the thing is, when we end podcasts, you usually switch it off. But you can't do that right now. Because <laughs> you're just going to hang up on me. Yeah. And that's rude. As you know, I'm hung up on you. <laughs> that's a song. That's a song people say once. Is that Madonna's? <laughs> Maybe. Is that the Madge? The Madge girl? Uh, I have no idea. She's um, up. So, are we? Should we? Uh, should we make a, a signing off thing? Should we um, be professional? Why do we need to be professional? This is not a professional piece. This is entirely technical testing. I know, but like, I'm just I am aware, of course, wearing a a, uh, a three piece tux and a bow tie. <laughs> I've got a west coat on. I'm wearing a helmet onesie. That is sexy. That's what I was going to be greeting my friend in America in uh, at the airport. I was, you were I was going fully... to go in a coat onesie. What were you going to do? Yeah. Curb arms. I was, <laughs> I was fully prepared to go to the airport in a onesie. But now, now have you perfected your voice though? Did you did you start prepping your voice? Hi ho! Welcome to London. Why are there so many songs about rainbows? <laughs> Boo! Boo! <laughs> Um, how far is he? How far is he? You see, it's where you are. I can do Constantine doing Kermit, and that's about as far as I get. Go on, give us a, give us a bit of Constantine before I head off. I want to do Constantine. I want to do Constantine doing Kermit. The frog. I'm number one. I'm number two. Because I'm Ricky Gervais. Yes. You're my number two. <laughs> right, well, fingers crossed this all works. Um, do let me know. Will do. Um, and uh, stay safe and wash your hands. I always wash my hands when I touch you anyway, so it's not different. Wow, now. rude. See, now, oh. now I don't feel guilty hanging up on you. I wanted you to feel wet. <laughs> <laughs> I always do. Right. <laughs> Uh, I, I will uh, log off and um, I'll, I'll log off and bog off and buy you a pizza. <laughs> yep, it's lovely catching up. Yeah, um, and yeah, hopefully I'll. Stuff. Yeah, hopefully I'm soon. Touch wood now. <laughs> <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> you want to get one more? <laughs> one more time. Go on. Wisely. Oh! <laughs> and what a way to climax. Um, right, well, I'll chat to you soon, and uh, yeah, fingers crossed. Uh, see you later. Alright, see you Are You Movie Mad is part of the Podnose Network, the UK's leading independent entertainment podcasting network, produced and edited by Andrew Jones, executive producer George Grimwood. To find out more about Podnose's network, go to www.podnose.com.